and welcome to the video. I was just in the middle of the process of cleaning my wool nappy cover when I thought maybe I should do a video on this to show you how to use it. So I just grabbed the camera and set it up now and I'm just going to show you really quickly how to wash your wool nappy covers. So those of you who have seen some of my other essentials videos will have heard me rave about these nappy covers a few times before. I wish I could hold it up for you, but it's actually, I will. Let me just squeeze it out here because I'm in the middle of washing it. Um, so this is the a wool nappy cover. So as I've explained in some of my other videos, what this is for is for nighttime sleeps, for putting over the nappy and it's made of wool and what that does is absorb moisture from any leaks that happen overnight which is common for boys. I don't know about girls, I only have a boy so I can only speak for him, but we had issues with my son leaking and he'd wake up at sort of 5, 4, 5 a.m. and his clothes would be wet, sleeping bag wet, sheets wet. But ever since we started using this guy, that problem went away. So we have two wool nappy covers this is our favorite. This is the Baby Beehives brand. And we also have another one which is a lot um, bulkier and woollier. It kind of looks like a traditional knit. And that's what we keep as our spare for when this is washing. So let me just um, say that if you have problems with leaking, don't hesitate, get yourself one of these. Our wool absorbs the moisture and it also neutralizes any odors. So this guy can keep going for between two and three weeks before it needs a wash, which I know sounds revolting, but honestly, they don't smell at all. Uh, what you can do is you might like to remember to wash your wool co cover every two weeks. Sometimes I forget and it takes um, a leak to happen for me to realize I need to wash it. Again, I know that sounds gross, but trust me, it just does not smell. So this morning we got Jed out of bed and he had leaked, so I knew that it was time to wash and re lanolize this. So I know that's why you're probably here to find out how to lanolize a wool nappy. It's a little bit daunting, like it sounds a bit daunting at first, but believe me, it's really easy once you've done it a couple of times. It's a cinch and it doesn't take up too much time. So what you'll need to wash, because you can't just bung it in with your regular clothes, you have to hand wash it and take special care of it so it works properly. You'll need a bucket, which I'm sure you have, and you'll need a wool wash. I like to use the Earth Choice um, Wool and Delicates type, but whatever your choice is fine. And then you'll need some lanolin. I use the Lansano, I don't know how you say that. Let's go with Lansano. It's the tube of lanolin here, which is also can be used. It says for the treatment of sore cracked nipples, but this is what you use. So it's a two step process. What you do is if you're using this one, you fill your bucket with, uh, it's 30 mils of hand wash per five liters. So you just follow the directions on your wool wash. And then I just want to point the camera down. So I'll just grab it here and show you. So you want to put the cover in the bucket and then you just want to um, agitate it gently like this, just to wash it, just gently. And then I like to leave it soaking for um, at least half an hour, but probably an hour or so. And that's your wash. Okay, so the next step after you've washed it is to just squeeze it out gently. And then I'm going to rinse it under the cold tap. So when you're squeezing out the water, always just squeeze gently. You don't want to wring or anything like that. You want to protect the fibers. So the next step after the nappy has been washed is to then lanolize it. So you're going to want to get some clean water in your bucket. So tip out the detergent and then 
you want to use a pea-sized amount of this water and fill the bucket with just um, a little bit, like maybe an inch of hot water. You don't actually even have to put an inch, you just need to put maybe half a cup or a cup enough to, what you wanna do is get about that much and then you want to distribute that throughout the water. So because it's kind of fatty and sticky, it'll wanna to stick to your fingers, but you just want to, I'll grab the camera again and show you. So we're just kind of mixing that into the water, just dissolving it. It's a little bit hard to do with one hand and show you, but yeah, you just kind of want to melt that into the water. So once you've worked that lanolin into the hot water, you can then top your bucket up with enough cold water that will cover your napkin, your soaker. So it might have helped me to explain. Um, lanolin is naturally present, I guess, in wool. So what you're doing by re-lanolizing it is getting that um, natural substance back into the wool that helps it to be, um, I guess, neutralizing and moisture wicking and all that stuff. So once you've added your cool water to the lanolin mixture, you just want to pop your nappy in there and just gently work it like this. Just sort of pinching the fibres a little bit to work it in there. Moving it around a bit, swishing it around and just sort of letting all that stuff get in there. Because you'll notice the little beads of lanolin floating on top of the water and you just want to make sure that they're getting into the nappy. Yeah, so what you want to do then is leave that in there for at least 30 minutes. Sometimes I leave it in a little bit more just to soak up the lanolin. And then after that, all you do is gently squeeze out the excess moisture. You want to hang it on a clothes area and let it uh, dry in the shade. And that's it. The process of it actually air drying usually takes a couple of days because it is in the shade but that's what you have your spare nappy cover for to use in the meantime. So I hope this has helped you to clear up any uncertainty around how to lanolize your wool nappy covers. And um, yeah, if you'd, like to if you'd like to subscribe for more mum content, hit subscribe. And yeah, I hope to talk to you again soon. Bye. Hi, Tommy. Mm -hmm. You want to cuddle? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me wash my hands.